to do my hair it's very very easy first you got to find a curling iron a Marcel a wand whatever you want to use I personally like the Marcel iron the best because I like the free flowingness of it and I also learned this in hair school so it's about the easiest thing for me to use but first I'm going to click it on next I'm going to clip up my hair I really kind of section this into three or four sections I really try to not make it too too complicated and I part it down the middle and we're gonna wait for our iron to heat up so once your iron is heated up, what I like to do is start from the back of one side that you've parted, which I try to part it as cleanly as possible, and I take the back section and I will stick my iron in, turn, and hold, and then I will go under my curl, turn again, hold, and then I let it out. So that gives me my beachy wave. It gives me a straighter end and a more relaxed wave than a curl. So you hold, you turn under, and then you hold again, and then you pull down. You can do this with a regular curling iron. You can do it with a straightener. You can do it with pretty much everything. The only thing that you have to remember is when you do this, and you hold, you go underneath, which is normally towards your face, and you hold again and pull out. And then I come to the other side, and I start in the back again. The reason I start in the back is because I feel like it's easier to find the pieces that you haven't curled yet, instead of starting in the front and then going to the back and kind of getting lost back there it's just what I've learned over my years of <laughs> doing my own hair and doing people's hair it's much easier for people to work that way And I also don't brush out any of my curls until I'm done with them. For me, that helps them hold as long as they possibly can, which is what all of us want, is for our style to last throughout the day. And what I kind of do is I kind of hold all my hair up that I haven't curled yet to make sure I'm not grabbing any pieces underneath. Again, take this back section. The bigger the sections that you take, the more relaxed your style is going to look, which I really like. With my shorter hair, I don't tend to fully curl it because it does make it shorter and I don't, I don't want shorter hair, I just want curled hair. And if you can see, my panels or my sections are really wide going this way. The reason for that is that's how you get the perfect beachy wave instead of taking a square section. This section is pretty wide from top to bottom and that is how I have learned to really get a perfect beach look. Come in the back, find all those pieces, make sure I've curled everything, and then you hold. You still want to see your ends because then you have more room to move down. Now, if you, let's say, forget, that's not a problem and you can then take this whole section and kind of wind it up if you want to, but still turn under and then pull down. So there is multiple ways to do this. Every section I start in the back to just make sure that in case of an emergency, I don't have a ton of straight pieces in the back if I can't check my hair. 
which I always check my hair when I get to work, but not everybody has the luxury of mirrors and curling irons at their job. I will make sure to do a dirty hair video for you guys to kind of show you what I do on the days where I'm touching up my curls, adding dry shampoo, stuff like that. So if you wanna see that video, please like this one. I'm still learning all the like YouTube lingo. You gotta give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, and please subscribe. <laughs>want to do a video over curling iron versus straightener curls so if you guys want to see that please leave a comment below and let me know if that would be something you guys are interested in or any other hair type of styling videos please let me know I let them cool. I'm going to be taking my favorite texture spray. This is by Amiga. It is their volume and matte texture spray. And I am going to spray my hair liberally. And I pick it up as I'm doing it to really get in all of my curls. Definitely some volume, definitely some texture, but I'm not done yet. Next, I'm going to take another Amiga product. This is called The Shield. This is their anti-humidity spray. And in Dallas, Texas, we've got humidity. So after I'm done with my texture spray, I will go in and spray my hair. Especially in my bang area. And just throughout. I love the effortless style that it has. My kind of bangs, I'm growing out. And we're gonna just kind of push them to the side. I love how they are acting. And it is a good hair day. Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of two-parter. But if you have any more ideas for me or anything else that you'd like to see from me, please let me know and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!